Hey, all right, so I had that surgery this morning. It's a little worse than the last time. Um, yeah, it really hurt this time. Oof, he was in there a long time making sure he got every little speck out. So it took a little longer than I thought it was gonna take. Uh, yeah, not good. But anyways, I'm sorry about that video yesterday. Look, here's, here's the thing, it's weird. As soon as I started talking about the government and how they kinda are screwing veterans that were stationed, and I'm not even gonna mention it, on the East Coast, right, to the base. I'll say that, the, the mic shut off when I started getting in it. And that's weird, the mic, because the mic didn't shut off. Because I looked at it when I was done, and then I still had the green light. I never touched my phone, so I didn't screw up the thing that plugs in that receives the signal. So there's something funny going on here. So it was on, I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know how it happened, because the mic still said it was good. Because I, I, as soon as I'm done, I put it on the charger. And I leave it there like all day, all night until I use it again. It might be on the charger two, three days, or even more maybe, before I make another video. So it's fully charged, and I still had the green light. So I thought it was still recording, but it wasn't. But it led me to these verses here in Proverbs. Proverbs 26, verses 24 through 26. And uh, the bottom line is this. I'll, I'll kind of give it an overview. Hopefully they won't screw this one up because I'm not using my mic or anything on this. I'm just recording, right? So my voice probably doesn't carry as well. But, but what's going on there is they set aside a lot of money to pay off these families they screwed because they knew that something was horribly contaminated and allowed people for, let's see, from the 50s to the late 80s, right, to uh, consume it, to even children. And it caused all kinds of problems, uh, all kinds of different cancers, which, which my doctor was telling me this is a possibility here. Uh, so that's not a good thing. Um, but <laughs> in a couple weeks, I go get something cut off my back too, another one. Yeah, be, yeah. Anyways, it's a lot. It's been a lot. Uh, I look like Frankenstein under here. But anyways, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is, right? That's the government of this world, the governments of this world. They're not for us. They're against us. No doubt about it. We want to stay in control and have complete control over every little aspect of your life. You know, the carbon tax, uh, this new digital currency, uh, it just everything they're doing, man. It's 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 oppression. It's it's treasonous. It's oppression. It's it's man. There's so many many more words that you could say. These you know, and there's good people. I know there are some good people trying to fight the good fight, but they're just outnumbered badly um, because the whole world lies in the hands of the wicked one. Basically, God's in ultimate control, so don't take that wrong. Okay, you know He's in ultimate control. Everything works together for His good the good of his people and his kingdom. No doubt about it. I have no doubt about that. But uh, anyways, what I was saying, I'm, I'll just go through it. And this, these verses pointed out, look, when I was traveling down to uh, South Carolina, right, um, for my honeymoon, and man, what a what a blessing she's been, man. I can't, I can't even see enough good things about her. Um, walking the same path, just completely love and you know care and uh you know for each other like it's 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 really great <laughs> it's it's a very very rare thing because most people uh unfortunately try to serve themselves and i hey i'm guilty of that too especially when i was younger and that so we all play our part right but uh so these verses point all these things out this is proverbs 26 verses 24 through 26 and I, i'm just going to take a few words back because they're so essential to understand um the the depth of of what we're missing from our english translation and stuff and and the spiritual meaning that's behind it okay contained in it okay so here we go this is proverbs 26 starting in verse 24 he that hateth dissembleth with his lips and layeth up deceit within him. Okay. <laughs> now, this is crazy. You know what? I'm just going to read all three of these verses and go back to a few words and tell you what verse they're from. And, and then verse 25, it says, When he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Now, verse 26. Whose hatred is covered by deceit, his wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. Okay, so this is King James Version. Sounds a little funny, right? 
and may have been altered, whether you believe that or not, whatever, that's on you. Whatever, that's between you and God. Um, <clears throat> and so let's look at this word deceit in verse 24, because it means something different than the exact same word in the English in the word deceit in verse 26. Because in verse 26, the number there is, I believe it's Hebrew, because it's Old Testament, uh, 4860. So it's H4860. Okay, and I'm not just looking this up in the Strong's. I'm looking at the BBB, the Thayer's, the Miles, the Strong's, all of it being led by the Spirit. You can believe that or not. I'm no better than anybody else, man. I struggle every day, right, against my flesh. It's a constant battle. It's a battle. And uh, must be crucified daily, right? And then the word deceit up here in verse 24 is 4820. So you have 4860 and 4820. But when it was translated, see, this is why so much is lost in translation. When it was translated into English, all you see is the word deceit. You think it means the same thing. It does not. It does not. Okay, so let's look at verse 24. Let's look at the word hateth. He that hateth dissembleth. He that hateth. So here we go. Uh, is this 8130? And I'm looking at the BDB for most of this here. So he that rejects God's wisdom. He that hateth. This word hateth means rejects God's wisdom. Who hates God and God's chosen people and those who belong to God as well. So he hates them. Okay. He rejects the wisdom of God. Okay. Dissembleth. So in, you would think, okay, he separates, spreads, uh, uh, divides, all those things. That's what you would think from dissembleth. But when you look up the word, oh, I didn't write down the number. Anyways, it means, uh, oh, and I forgot a cu couple of things. Oh, no, I haven't got to deceit yet in this way. Yeah, so dissemble it. So he that hateth rejects God's wisdom, hates God and God's people. Okay, he disguises himself, hides himself, conceals himself among, among them. And he does this through what he speaks, what comes out of his mouth, through his lips. And they, I didn't look up those words. So, and layeth up deceit within him. And layeth up deceit within him. Now, this word deceit is 4820. He is deluded. He is easily, so that a person like this who rejects God's wisdom, hates God and God's chosen people, who disguises himself and hides himself among others, maybe God's chosen people, could be a member of your church, anywhere, but he rejects the wisdom of God. Maybe maybe he, he's religious and not been spiritually born again, but he's a very religious person, right? So it kind of blends in a little bit, right? That's, you know, that's all I'm going to say about that. And it can mean so many more things too, but beware, okay? So it says, uh, he layeth up deceit. He's easily deluded, easily misled. He's deluded, delusional, okay? Delusional. He's living and loving the lie, this flesh, this world, what he's been taught by mankind. So there's that. Okay, he's easily misled and he subtly commits treachery because he himself is deceived. Because he himself is deceived. So he commits treachery and he does it like, like he's doing you a favor or, or he, acting like he's with you. But he's, he's deceiving himself because he has ulterior motives, right? Um, it's an abomination. Where, where he said, is an abomination to God. Oh, oh, this is a word down here, abominations. Okay, so there's that. So there's those words in that verse. He, he's uh, deluded, delusional, easily misled, subtly commits treachery because he himself is deceived. So he does treacherous things to like tear down other people or, or whatever he's doing, but it's because he himself is deceived. So I'm going to stop right there for just a second and, and go over this. When I was traveling to... North Carolina, right, and stopped to get gas right off the highway. There was a gas station, but it was loaded, and it's the, we're going through the mountains, man, they're rare to get to a gas station, right? So this gas station was packed. There was a lot of people there. Every, every, every pump had someone in front of it. So I see a truck sitting there that has no one in it. So I figured, cool, he probably already paid for his gas. He's inside paying for his gas or going to the bathroom or grabbing a candy bar or snack, whatever, and coming right back up. So I pull behind this guy. So I'm sitting there, and I'm sitting there for a long time, somewhere between five and 10 minutes, right? And that, you know, I just thought it was a long time. You know, five and 10 minutes, I'm sitting there, this guy's in the store. Now, here's the thing about that. He could have pulled off to the side. There were other parking spots. He could have pulled off to the side somewhere. 
parked in a different spot around the building, around the little, like their little mini marts and gas stations kind of like. So he could have moved out of the way so other people could have got gas. So first of all, he's, he's completely not even considering anyone else. This is very rude and selfish and everything else, but he's most likely, he's, it was a young man, right? So he's, he's oblivious to it. He doesn't even care. It's not even a thought. He himself is deceived, right? So there's that. And uh, so he's in there. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm starting to get pissed. I'm like, where is this guy? What is he doing? You know? And, and then, then I see him come out. I'm like, cool. And I'm thinking, did he go in and pay? Is there a long line? Is that why? I'm thinking all these things, possibilities, right? So I'm not honking or getting upset. You know, I am kind of getting upset. I'm like, okay, he, he finally came out. Maybe it was a long line, whatever. I'm sitting there and he does, I'm thinking, does he got to pump gas? And nope, he doesn't go back to pump gas. He must be done. He gets in his truck. He gets in his truck, but he doesn't start it. And I'm sitting there, wait. And waiting, he, he's sitting there. I see him on his phone in his truck. I see him on his phone, and he's screwing around on his phone for like another, you know, somewhere between five and ten minutes. I'm sitting there now. The old me, this see, this is what I said towards the end of my other video. The old me, like when I was younger and hot headed and wasn't slow to anger and slow to speak or whatever, quick to listen, right? All that. I would have, I would have got out of my truck, walked over, and maybe popped his window a couple times, you know, knocked on it but maybe a little harder than necessary. The old me, right? I would have went boop, 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 get the out of the way, dumb. You know, I would have said something like that. That's the way I would have been, right? Which could turn people off big time and you know, it causes strife and there's no reason for that, right? So I'm sitting there just waiting to see what is going on. All these thoughts are going through my head. What is this kid doing? I see him on his phone. He's just sitting there for another, I was sitting at that gas station before I pumped gas like 20 minutes almost 20 minutes before I could start pumping gas because this kid was just oblivious. He, he, he had no thought of others, none, not see. So it's like these people here, they're just completely deceived, uh, being led around by their flesh. They're easily misled. They're full of delusion. They're delusional, right? Then they're, uh, deceived themselves but they don't understand it. So they commit treacherous acts. They do things that are wrong and bad and, and not good for other people. They, cause they don't even have a thought about their fellow man at all. You know, so there's that. So anyways, just an example there. So, you know, small example, but we can see it and it's getting worse and worse. Even, even with older people who are more mature, who should know better, right? We're seeing these same things. And then people are losing, they're getting too emotional and they lose control of their emotions. And they're uh, lashing out through their uh, inability to uh, control themselves, control their emotional state and being, their lack of discipline. Thank God I went into the military and they, boy, they tear you down to nothing and rebuild you. And that's kind of what happened in this world. We were tore down from what we were. We've lost all remembrance and consciousness of what we were previously because we used, believe it or not, this isn't our home. That's our home. We're to return home when we're through here with whatever God wants us to do and however long he wants us to do it while we're here. Okay, we return home. If you are in Christ, put your faith and trust in Christ. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God and the word was made flesh. Okay, in the likeness of sinful flesh is Jesus Christ. God incarnate, the word that was made flesh. The word of God himself. Okay, so there's that. So we, we were deceived, and when we're birthed into this world, you have been born into a rotten, dying, decaying physical form, and you've been covered over by the throne of Satan, which is your flesh, you know, your carnal, uh, just being led around by this image of a beast, the bestial, animalistic nature of mankind that incites them to sin. Without any suggestion, just like that young man, the gas station, without any suggestion of their own depravity. And they're, they're, they're spiritually dead. They're, they're spiritually dead, no longer connected to God. So that's what occurred. So Christ came to reveal the truth, tell us who we are. Our identity is only found in him through studying his word and it being revealed by him because our mankind's own preconceived notions will not accept the truth. You know, and it's sad because it's many members of the church as well. But thank God it's just your faith. It's your faith in Jesus Christ and what he did for you, receiving that payment, you know, that he gave for you to redeem redeem you, meaning 
you previously belonged to him and but we sold ourselves in this like, like we pawned ourselves but we couldn't pay the price to redeem ourselves he had to redeem us because we're simple because we committed the very first sin you know you know so anyways i'm not going to get a whole lot more into that now so verse 25 when he speaketh fair believe him not for there are seven abominations in his heart so let's look at this word abominations it's a hebrew word 8441 8441 okay this word uh this uh disgusting to god this these abominations something that is disgusting to god being mixed together with an idol, especially being mixed together with idolatry, with these idols, these idols of flesh, being concealed, concealing, uh, or no, that's not it. Yeah, being concealed, basically, that would go with it too, but that wasn't part of that word. But d discuss something that is disgusting to God, being mixed together with these idols, especially mixed with idols, idolatry, right? Being joined to idolatry these idols of flesh uh, uh, to, yeah, so there's that, there's that, right? So there's that, there's so much more stuff there, man. So now let's look at uh, 26, whose hatred is covered by deceit, whose hatred is covered by deceit and his wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. Now let's look at this word covered, it's 3680. Concealed, whose hatred is concealed from others, right? And it is concealed within himself to protect himself from exposure, from being exposed uh, within himself. It is within his own body of flesh. This is where the hatred comes from. It's your flesh. It's your bestial, animalistic nature of mankind. This image of the beast speaks to you all day long. Either you're listening to it or you're not. See, this is the spiritual understanding of it. How it's going to be played out in the physical? Who knows? AI, the aliens coming down, holographic, whatever they're saying, but that's not the bigger picture. The bigger picture, the spiritual truth of it, it's your own body of flesh. You are your own worst enemy. Every time you look in the mirror, you're looking at your worst enemy. It's your body of flesh. It's your carnal fleshly minds and lusts and desires all these things that mislead you okay so there's that okay so now let's look at this word deceit now this is different from the word deceit in verse 24 but in english they look the same this word deceit is 4860 it means so this hatred is covered it's concealed within himself in his body of flesh to protect himself from being exposed by de deceit he has He's full of guile, meaning ulterior motives. He has ulterior motives, which are self-serving, very selfish, very self-serving. To beguile, and, and he told me to look up, his spirit told me to look up the word beguile, and I've done it before, uh, which means to charm or enchant another deceptively, to thoroughly, with intentions, to thoroughly commit fraud. To thoroughly commit fraud, to deprive a, another, to de deprive someone else of something. And he told me to look up the word deprive, which I wouldn't have done because you think it means just to not allow someone else to have something to keep it from them or whatever. And, and that's kind of what it means. It means to deny possession or use of something, to deny someone else possession or the use of something, to completely take it away from them, to completely take whatever it is that they may need or whatever word to deprive them of it to take it away from them they so they can't use it or they can't have it for themselves right so basically you're stealing them you're stealing their wealth subtly which is what happened to us our wealth was stolen we had eternal life we were living in paradise with our creator and we were deceived and this was stolen from us because we turned our faces away and listened to the voice of another and were seduced into taking the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which is your body. It's your fruit. It's the progeny of this wicked tree, uh, you know, this, this rotten, dying, decaying tree, your physical form, which is the abode of light and darkness. Look at the word house. Look at the word tabernacle. Look at all these words go back to it, right? And he tells us where his stars, where his princes, and you look at that, that means his angels, his, his all that. It's the heavenly host that, but, there was a third that Satan swept away with him, right? Deceit. And that's part of us. If you're here, that's you. And believe it or not, that is you. That's all of us that are here. Okay, now there's other ones that knowingly did something so they're unredeemable. So there's there's that too. So I'm not even going to get into that right now. But anyway, so that's the word deceit. See the difference there? 
one is this person is delusional they're deluded they're easily misled this is in verse 24 uh, they subtly commit treachery subtly because they themselves are deceived that's one and this other one uh, they conceal this whose hatred is covered they can it's concealed within their flesh because they, they look just like us it, it's hidden from us right and they do it to protect protect themselves from being exposed right and it says this deceit it's it's to guile meaning they have ulterior motives to guile to charm enchant deceptively and thoroughly commit fraud to deprive another of something and and what's going on with the government with this uh Thing. They've, they've had the funds for over a decade and there's over 300,000 people that have filed suit and they've only paid out like 60 at this point. And it's been, it's been, I'm not sure I'd have to look at the numbers, but I think it's somewhere between 10 and 20 years that this has been set aside. Yeah. And they've basically sat on it doing nothing with it, except probably pilfering from it and using it for other things, whatever. All right. So his wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. Let's look at this word. Uh, uh, what, what am I looking here? Exposure to, oh, this word deceit. No, concealed, concealed. Within his flesh to protect himself from exposure. To fatten, he does this to fatten and gorge himself. To grow fat. To basically, it's greed. It's just greed. To build up his own wealth and all this. So that's why he has ulterior motives and charms and chants deceptively and commits fraud, right? And this wickedness shall be shown before the whole congregation. Let's look at this word congregation. It's 4860. Okay. Those who've been returned from their exile. And I think this might have been in the BDB too. All of those, the congregation, all of those who returned from their exile, who've assembled together in one body, the body of Christ. Okay. So there's that. It'll be revealed to them. And, and this, once you're born again in the spirit, you can see, like I was talking to a brother who's born again at, at work yesterday. I got to get out of here pretty soon. I can't even see what time it is. One eye is very difficult to, okay, 1.30. I got to leave pretty soon for work. But I was talking to a brother when I went into work yesterday. And he goes, Jerry, he, he called me over to him when I walked in. And, it, and it's a, it was a beautiful thing to hear because I wasn't feeling the greatest, right? I was just wore out, you know, from things and I probably had some thoughts I probably shouldn't have had thoughts about you know just being a little angry about certain things right that transpired or whatever just certain little things eh, I wouldn't say angry just maybe disappointed a bit but anyways I was walking in but I was feeling pretty good because I exercised and I, I cleaned up the house cut the grass I did all kinds of stuff around here and um you know, so anyways, I'm walking in. He goes, Jerry, come over. He goes, man, he goes, sometimes I can just see the aura of people. I, and you got this light around you when you were walking in, man. You just look like like God had you in his possession. You know, some, something to that effect, he said, you know, basically. And man, that just, it, it was like God, I think God uh, used him like he uses us when you belong to him. And like, if you do not belong to God, Satan can take you at his will and use you the abomination, the desolation, saying, this one's mine, All right? Standing in the temple of God, which is us. Do you not know that your body is the temple of God? You, right? It should be, you should be, because you are a, 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 a mortal spiritual being trapped and surrounded in this darkness of your flesh that cast a shade a shadow in the word darkness shadow i kind of put the two together but you know but it, this darkness that you know, shadow shade you know it's like that veil right that that prevents you from seeing the truth it's your flesh it's your body of flesh but it, it it's willful ignorance willfully ignorant because you're living and loving a lot you're believing a lot you know uh, we're in a prison we're in a prison. That's why Jesus said he came to set those who are held captive free. We're in a prison here, though, this world. It's a prison. It's a punishment. And we're serving out our sentence here. And, and if you do good while you're here and you turn back to your father, you ask his forgiveness and you start doing, you know, what's right. You just don't speak it. You live it. You do it. And you're following his commandments, not meaning even it does mean the law, but it's following what he's telling you to do, what you hear his voice telling you. Like Abraham, he 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 was faithful and obeyed God. That's why, that's why that verse I gave out yesterday, it's like someone who's 
hearing from God and believes God and believes his promises and acts on those, right? Not just says, yes, I believe it, but actually acts out, follows him and listens to him and does and obeys what he's telling you to, to do. You can produce multiple fruit just by planting a seed of truth that God has given you within someone else by speaking it out. Who knows the ripple effect that that'll cause of people coming to the knowledge of the truth, right? And and be willing to just let go of this world. Just let go of it, right? I mean, we're in the world, but we're not of the world. So think about that one. Uh, being redeemed to, so we can return home. This place isn't our home. Okay, all that, all these words are so much more literal than the churches have taught us, okay? So anyways, that was nice. It's like God comforting me in a way. For sure through another brother and he does that he makes your paths cross and he prepares someone's heart to receive something and all that you can't just go knocking on the doors and try to force your beliefs on someone you know now if people ask me questions i i give them the answer you know if i know it if i don't know it i'll tell them i don't know it but I, usually i'll kind of know where to look though and i'll tell them god's word for sure but i might know the book or whatever maybe even the chapter but Anyways, but a lot of times people do not like the answer. And, and it's funny because some people continually ask you the same question over and over and over and over. You know, I've been telling a friend of mine to prepare and uh, what's coming because the God's word is true and it will play out. So either Trump is not going to be president, he'll either be taken out by the deep state or, or not allowed to take the office of presidency either one these people what i've been told basically is they're going to start world war three so they're evil deeds and their evil is so wicked that the majority of mankind can't even accept can't even think of how evil it was like i said i saw or listened to the description of what was found on uh wiener's laptop you know he's uh huma abedin's husband who was busted for showing himself trying to hit on young girls and uh, they busted him and took the laptop well she hid a file on there she was uh, Clinton's right hand gal right for a while and uh, she hid something on his on her husband's laptop called life insurance policy so just in case something were to happen she could say hey I'm gonna send this police or whatever you had grown men detectives who've probably seen all kinds of accidents and murders and everything else grown men walking out of that room crying and puking and I heard what was on it and I wish I never did I, I would have never thought that people could be that depraved but uh, they are so these people will stop at nothing and nothing so they're just like these verses say for their wicked ways uh, and what they've done deceptively won't be exposed revealed but it will be it's going to be no doubt about it. But so God's word is going to play out. So is Trump even going to take office or is he actually good cop, bad cop? Or will he be the one that issues in the market? I don't know. I, don't, I, I really, I myself, I haven't been shown this or anything, but I think that they're going to start a civil war. And if that doesn't take place because uh, most firearm owners are very well disciplined and usually veterans of some sort, branch of military or police officers or fire department, you know, they serve. They serve God and they serve mankind in some way, shape, or form. And uh, most, most, and they're very well disciplined. You have to be. You should be, for sure. I mean, I know there's exceptions, right? There's people who are out there who should never own a firearm. And I hate to say that, but they're, they're, they're just so depraved and lost and evil that, you know. But, you know, that's up to, you know, God to work out in the government and everything else, whatever. But I do believe in the right to protect yourself, bear arms, shall not be infringed. I fully believe that. Um, but so there's that. Um, you know, I, I don't see Trump making it in through one way or another. I mean, we're being lied to about everything. There's AI being generated, people being paid, money laundering going on through Act Blue. There's so many things going on. It's so deceptive, right? Uh, they're... They're not going to, I don't think they're going to let them in one way or another. And, and that'll either cause a civil war or if that doesn't occur, then. And some people who watch the border been camped out down there at different portions of South America all the way up to uh, 
America, right, watching all the immigrants come through, said in this estimate, they said they there's somewhere between either 20 or 80,000 Chinese military age men that have come across the border. What are they here for? What are they here for? They're going to be passed out UN troops because when you look at like like that verse in Revelations, I took a deeper look at, you know, about the locusts from the pit that come out. It appears like they're wearing body armor, men and women, you know, body armor. Uh, and, it, you know, teeth of a lion did not mean that when I originally looked at it. You know, it said because of the speed and ferocity of the, the way they move and attack. And they're going to move like locusts, big groups from one area to the next. And uh, sound of uh, many chariots, right? Military vehicles and ospreys and helicopters and anything, whatever. Um, you know, and, and they would be having a crown on their heads. And it said like a Persian prince, meaning blue with white markings. Whose helmet's blue with white markings? Right, so there's that. There's just so much. I, there's so much information. I'm just not a good speaker. It's hard to get out. But anyway, so there's that. This video is probably long. I got to go to work. All right. God bless you. Love and respect everybody. It's weird how all my videos are being taken down when I mention anything about this and any connection it may have to uh, Mark of the Beast and all that. And this might be taken up uh, down just for that. When other people talk about all kinds of it and just say all the words right out in the open and show reports from all different places, talk about it for hours, and their videos never get taken down. Find that odd, very odd, you know, whatever. All right, so there's that. God bless you. Show everybody love and respect. Do the best you can because people are turning, tares and wheat, you know, being separated, sheep and goats, it's happening. Uh, like JK said, worlds are colliding. <laughs> no doubt about it. They're going to be colliding. It's going to be a problem. I hope it's not a civil war. Or even, you know, I, you know, whatever. I just want, you know, God's word will play out. No doubt about it. Just be prepared. Be ready to go. Be looking forward to going home because it's in our home. All right. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye.